So welcome friends, uh, the last video I am showing you how to uh, log in agent for the outbound campaign and how to create the campaign for the outbound process. Now I am going to show you how to create an inbound campaign. So there is uh, uh, some parameters is there for the, for the inbound. First you have to go to the inbound. You have to create. A inbound group. I am giving the name test inbound and the group color uh, I am giving green. So, on the last video, I am giving you one thing the algorithm for the next agent call. Random means uh, whenever incoming is coming, any agent from the campaign, uh, the call will be headed to the the agent but if you are selecting the ring all that's mean whoever log into that campaign the the call when hit to the campaign ring all to all agent whoever picking the call uh, he is the the first uh, taken the call okay uh, so i am giving here the fewest call that's mean who is taking fewest call and campaign wise and submit here you can see it not set as allowed in any campaign that means the group is not selecting by any campaign so nothing to do here for the basic level okay submit then I have to create a campaign for the inbound I'm giving the ID 5002 uh, inbound inbound campaign here so again I am giving the freest call and the timing is 24 hours okay now here you can see the the dial method is manual I'm giving here inbound manual the agent can able to take inbound call as well as manual dial one more important thing you have to allow inbound blended call so i'm giving selecting yes so now you can find here allow inbound groups so i have created the test inbound and whenever one agent is transferring the call to another group you have to select the groups also okay so now I'm going to submit here for the inbound purpose you have to create a DID so DID is uh, provided by from your carrier end if there is a E1 or T1 trunk or uh, any international carrier, SIP trunk, uh, you have to ask to the carrier what is the DID. If there is a no DID, you can uh, select the default one. Now, how to route this DID? If there is any calls come to the uh, this number, we are going to it's hated. So DID route, I have to give the inbound in group I am selecting so the server I have to select and then group ID so here is the group ID and test inbound okay and you have to submit here now see here is the inbound just submit it same just go through by my previous video how to log in here and submit here is the ring back the group I am selecting add all and submit whenever you are ready to take the inbound calls just hit you are active and whenever you are try to manual dial pause it and hit to the manual dial 
and here is the number you can provide any number here thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel